Thank you everyone for taking time to join today's webinar. Uh, as you can see, we're just going to kind of quickly review Starship's integration with Acumatica and talk about, you know, four main reasons why you should consider a multi-carrier shipping solution, uh, especially today in today's world. Uh, if there are, you know, any clients or end users that are uh, doing LTL type shipments, um, you know, with Starship being multi-carrier, multi-mode, which we'll get into and talk about, uh, you know, it, it's nice to have that that variety of LTL carriers that you can ship with or they can ship with. Uh, again, a lot of the LTL carriers nowadays, are they're, they're kind of booked and behind, you know, of course, COVID didn't help with anything. Um, so again, I'm just going to talk about having that multiple uh, multi-carrier shipping solution. All right. So let me just uh, jump here and go to my other slide and we'll get right into it. Uh, before we jump into it, just so you know, a little bit about V Technologies, if you're unaware, uh, you know, if you're resellers that I've worked with in the past, thanks again for joining. It's, it's always great to work with you. Uh, if I haven't worked with you, it, you know, again, thank you for joining. It's great to meet you and look forward to working with you. Uh, but with the technologies, as you see, we're founded in 1987. Uh, we are located in Connecticut. Uh, we really do remote work remotely now, but we still have the philosophy that everything is in-house. Um, so things like development, QA, uh, most importantly, our support team, um, it, it's all in-house. So we're not outsourcing anything. Um, with carriers, so for example, with like UPS or FedEx, as you can see, uh, last year we were actually named UPS's premier partner, uh, of course, for 2022, which is a great award to receive. Um, but with carriers like UPS, FedEx, just know we are a certified solution for them, certified vendor. And basically what that means is things like our shipping labels, they're going to be delivered to you already certified. We go through those pains uh, so you don't have to. Um, also, if we have budget issues, um, just know with UPS and FedEx, they do offer client subsidy programs uh, where they can actually qualify for free funding. And again, because we are a certified solution, uh, those, those customers can actually take advantage of those programs and use that funding to purchase Starship. Now, we do integrate with about 14 other ERP systems, but of course today we're going to talk about that integration with Acumatica. Uh, we've been actually working with Acumatica for eight years now, one of the longest integrated shipping solutions. Uh, of course, we are a certified application. And over the 35 years that we've actually been in business, we've actually had over 10,000 companies that have used our integrated shipping solutions to help streamline and automate their day-to-day -day shipping processes. So a little bit about that that integration and again that multi carry strategy. Um, so from Starship, as I mentioned, uh, it is what we consider multi carrier multi mode. And really, what that means is basically from the Starship program, a shipper is going to be able to just work inside Starship and be able to process small parcel LTL blind drop shipments. Of course, international type shipments. Right. So with Starship, it does live outside of Acumatica. But the nice thing with that is really, again, as a shipper, I don't have to be inside Acumatica. I don't have to use two different programs. Um, we are going to take and replace if any clients out there are using like UPS WorldShip or FedEx Ship Manager. So we are going to replace those programs. Um, same thing on the LTL side. You know, we, we do have integrations with over 12 dozen uh, or I'm sorry, two dozen LTL and small parcel carriers. And so with that, really right from the Starship program, uh, a shipper or even a front office, because we do add uh, a rate shop button inside of the sales order module in Acumatica, they can do live rate shopping. So again, on the LTL side, you know, a lot of clients, you know, they might use three, four LTL carriers. And currently what they're doing is either calling, going to the carriers, each individual website to get those rates, uh, to schedule pickups. So again, that's all going to be able to be done right through the Starship user interface. So again, we don't have to jump back and forth and go to all these different carriers. You know, again, just streamline everything. Um, so as I mentioned, you're going to do that live rate shopping at the sales order or shipment level. Uh, so again, from sales order entry, uh, it is included with Starship. It does not require any additional user seats or licenses. And it, it gives the, app, the customer service sales rep access to being able to scrape all the sales order data bring it into the rate shop version of Starship, where if they wanted to, they can put items in boxes, select package types, dimensions, um, get the actual live rate, you know, maybe even see differences between the different carriers, select the best one. Uh, and that's something we can also automate both at the sales order and shipping level. Uh, we, we do allow uh, clients to create 
shipping rules, you know, so maybe we want to do best way or at least least amount of delivery days. Um, so Starship could automatically select the carrier based on those rules. But, you know, from the sales order, they're going to be able to get all that data, uh, decide on the carrier. And then when they accept in the Starship screen, it's simply just going to close and update Acumatica with the ship via code. And then, of course, that freight amount and freight costs. Um, other options with, with Starship, you know, on the small parcel side, of course, UPS, FedEx, you know, DHL, uh, but also we have integrations with USPS. Uh, so I always, I always mention that because uh, nowadays with some of those uh, basically what they call customer priority pricing rates that our, our integration offers with USPS, um, some clients find, you know, on certain packages, you know, hey, it's actually going to be less amount of delivery days and less expensive than uh, a UPS or FedEx to send it out USPS. Uh, so again, we're going to give that ability to see all those different carrier services in live contract rates just through the Starship screen. Now, also with Starship, uh, you know, again, a lot of clients might be using UPS WorldShip FedEx Ship Manager, which are the carrier supplied softwares. Um, that information or those programs are really just header level info you know hey i have a box it, it's five pounds but with starship we actually can bring in the item level data uh from acumatica so you know basically anything that was on the order or on the shipment and we can use that to help streamline international shipments uh, starship actually has its own database where we can store that required uh, the um, inventory items and we can also record and store the uh like for international uh Schedule B codes, uh, harmonized codes, uh, shippers letter of instruction type documents we can print. Um, so really all that required international information, uh, we, we leverage that item level. And then same thing again with the LTL type shipment, you know, all that item level information is going to go on the bill lading forms that Starship can generate. Um, in that Starship inventory database, also you can store NMFC code, subcode, freight class. So again, really all that required information. Um, so now as a shipper, when I process shipments, I don't, I don't have to stop and make sure, oh, did I, did I put in the, the uh, Schedule B code or, you know, what's the country manufacturer? Uh, again, that's all going to be just automated for them. And same thing with hazmat, you know, with that item database, we, we have the, the whole hazmat where Starship can be triggered to say, yep, this is a hazardous item and you can set up profiles. And then, of course, with the profile, have all that required hazmat information. Uh, and then again, use, you know, hat Starship to generate maybe like a hazmat bill leading form, uh, UPS dangerous goods document, so on and so forth. So uh, that's why we take advantage of that item level data uh, really to help streamline that whole shipping process for shippers. Um, also, Starship does support blind drop shipment. So if we have any clients that, hey, you know, we, we have to do a blind uh, drop ship, you know, we're shipping for Home Depot or this vendor, and uh, we have to show like it's coming from them. You know, again, that's something Starship can automate, where it could come in, automatically change the sender information to, say, a Home Depot, uh, display their information. Uh, with our the shipping documents, for example, like a packing list, uh, we can actually create unlimited templates, and on the templates, uh, create printing rules. So a customer could have a, a special packing list that has for, again, Home Depot's information in their logo. Uh, we do have a lot of clients that ship for Home Depot and they actually do have a special packing list. Um, so that gets created in Starship and then Starship automatically knows, hey, this shipment's for Home Depot, just automatically populate and, and print out that shipping, that special packing list, all right? So no one has to manually make a decision and, and change it. Uh, Starship just automatically does it. And the same thing, you know, again, any of the, those documents, you know, it's going to display the, the, the vendor's information and logos. Um, so, again, we can trigger those uh, with the, those printing rules. Um, and then also, you know, robust reporting and emailing tools. And, of course, Acumatica does a great job with, like, dashboards and email programs. But also included with Starship is our dashboard program, our, our e-notify program. And it's included, does not require, again, any additional user seats or licenses. So you can really have unlimited users access these programs. Um, it's going to give them access to, you know, shipping information, graphs, you know, all different type of 
stat, so on and so forth. Um, run crystal, can crystal reports that can be modified or exported. Uh, you know, maybe we want a bunch of shipping information or looking to see what's been delivered or late deliveries because, you know, Starship actually does compare the guaranteed delivery date to the actual delivery date. And then with that e-notify program allows users to actually create their own unlimited email templates uh, so they can send the, the customers uh, a branded shipping uh, branded shipping uh, email with their information you know it, that way it's not branded ups or fedex uh, they could even show customers item to box detail but on those those emails we can include hyperlink tracking information so really a customer is going to receive that email they can hyper click the hyperlink tracking number be directed to the carrier's website uh, and then hopefully they're not going to end up calling the customer just to find out you know hey where's my shipment where's my order um also you can set the system up to i have a lot of clients do this that where okay yeah inside starship let's default it to actually use the carrier email but only for delays or exception because the customer is going to send their nice branded email that has all, all of their company information and hey, here's your shipping information. And then if there was a delay, the, the customer would, would receive one from the carrier. So again, just, just ways to help cut down and reduce those inbound calls. You know, a lot of different options uh, with Starship. And, and really, you know, of course, we're gonna help with, with the shipping department, you know, streamline their their day-to-day -day activities, uh, but also with the front office, you know, again, giving them access to shipping information, so on and so forth. Right. That integration with Acumatica between uh, with Starship, of course, it's a real time integration. Uh, so we can also we offer different workflows, you know, with Starship, we can pull by the sales order record. We can pull by um, the shipment record, customer record. Uh, so it's really up, up to the client. Honestly, most clients do pull by the shipment record. But with the sales order workflow, we can even tell Starship, hey, when they process a shipment and you write back the data into Acumatica, automatically create the shipment record. So again and some clients do take advantage of that it just saves them a step and they just create those sales orders process against that and then starship automatically creates the the shipment record but regardless of the workflow uh real-time live starship is going to update acumatica with information like the tracking you know ship date uh ship via codes we can reverse translate those so you know maybe at time of order we said it was going ups but yeah when we brought it into starship hey you know, fedex was less expensive so we changed it um so starship can reverse translate and update those those ship via codes uh even the item package details so a lot of clients if if we're not using the acumatica warehouse management software um, what they'll do is they'll actually build the shipping item box detail inside of the Starship program, and we, we automatically reverse translate that. So if we do have, you know, medium sized boxes, small boxes set up in Acumatica, uh, Starship also has that same database for packaging, uh, just like Acumatica. So if a shipper says, yeah, these two items go in a medium box, this one item goes in a small box, that's how it's going to be updated back on the shipment record. Okay, so you'll be able to see item to box information. Now, if we are using a WMS or manually building the item box detail inside of um, Acumatica, just know that's how that data is going to flow into Starship. So, if, again, with the WMS, we can go around, scan that data, uh, item box, box type, dimensions, weight, so on and so forth. But that's how it will all flow into Starship. Um, also, on the right back, we we, we can update. Uh, we usually out of the box do this, but it's up to the, the client. Uh, we can write back that freight cost uh, and price. So basically, hey, what we want to charge the customer and then what they're, they're going to be charged by the carrier. Okay, um, And freight, when we write back freight, of course, we can do write back rules. So, of course, nowadays, a lot of uh, clients are using, you know, hey, we have a website. We already charge them on our website. Um, so we, we can set up Starship. Yeah, in that scenario, do not override the freight amount. But our freight amounts can include plus or minus freight rules. Uh, so if they want to, you know, hey, this customer receives free shipping, it could go down to line item detail uh, where, hey, it's a certain item, you know, at a flat rate of $3, it's oversized or whatever the case may be. Um, also with Starship, we do have a built-in custom write-back feature, and that actually allows uh, us to take any additional shipping information and push it back into uh, maybe uh, Acumatica attribute fields. Uh, because Starship, of course, we can look at standard Acumatica fields, but we can also bring in Ac uh, 
attribute fields as well as push data back. Uh, so for example, with like freight price and freight costs, again, with those clients that are, oh yeah, we, we charge on our website. Uh, what a lot of the clients who set up with Starship is we'll still actually have Starship push back. You know, what would have we charged that customer if it went through Starship? And they just have an attribute field on the shipment record and we can update that. And that, that way the client can keep track of, you know, are we losing money on our, our web orders? Uh, you know, they can keep track of those matrix uh, of you know, a lot of clients have just flat rate shipping on their website. So that they can see and make sure, you know, you know are, are those rules good on our website? Also, with the, the shipment, uh, we can even mark it complete. Uh, you know, of course, if it, if it is shipped complete, um, so we can even trigger that, that status field to just automatically change it to completed. Um, other option, uh, customers can actually create a, a, dish, a shipping note, on, so a shipment note uh, on that shipment level. And again, that's up to them what data writes back. And we actually actually have two separate note fields. Uh, so of course, one for small parcel shipments. And then a lot of times with LTL, clients might want to add a lot more information, you know, like pro numbers and, hey, how many pallets, uh, so on and so forth. Um, so we do allow them to have two separate notes uh, that can be updated again on that, that shipment level uh, with the note. Okay. All right, so let's go to the next slide here. Now, of course, Starship is a cloud-based solution. Uh, nice thing with that is, hey, you're always going to be on the latest version. We maintain it, we take care of it. Um, it also, with the cloud, we do offer different plans or tiers based on customer shipping volumes. Um, so if we're only doing small parcel, uh, carriers and shipments, uh, we just have small parcel plans and they will gain access to all the small parcel carriers that Starship integrates with. Um, if we're doing small parcel and LTL, of course, we'd have a, a small parcel and LTL plan. And again, now the client is going to gain access to those small parcel and all the LTL carriers that we integrate with. Uh, with those plans, they do also gain access to unlimited users. Um, so we don't have to worry about you know, hey, I have to buy five user seats um, again, and they have access to as many users as they want. Of course, Starship does support multiple companies, branches, locations, so on and so forth. Um, so really the nice thing with those unlimited users uh, offered uh, through those cloud plans. Um, also, there there is a portal. Uh, so that's where most clients can go into and uh, pick their plan details, if I can talk today. Uh, they could review stats. Uh, that's where you set up users with security roles and permissions. Um, but it, there's a, just a portal they log into. Um, also with the plans, just know clients are not locked into a plan. All right, so they could pay month to month. They could prepay for a year. We actually even offer additional discount if clients prepay for a year. Um, so the nice thing, if we have clients that are seasonal, you know, they don't have to worry about, oh, I'm locked into this one plan. They can go in and change plans at any time. Uh, you can even configure Starship to automatically change the plan for you. You know, so if I know next month I, I'm going to be very busy, I need to up a tier, you know, that can be set up. Starship automatically does that for you. Okay. All right. And then this is just a snapshot of some of those carriers that we do integrate with. Uh, so on the small parcel and LTL side. And again, with the carrier integrations, what Starship is going to do is we ping each of the carriers with the customer's live account information. We're going to return things like published list rates, uh, contract rates. So they're a live negotiated contract rate. Um, also with like LTL carriers, a lot of the carriers do support things like returning pro numbers in doing electronic pickup. So Starship automatically schedules the pickup for them. Uh, but nice thing with all those carriers is that live rate shopping. So kind of one stop, I, I see all the different carriers. I can select, you know, what the one I prefer. Or again, we can set up Starship to automatically select it based on their own rules. Okay. And then here, so also with our, our uh, cloud plans, we do give clients access to all our e-commerce integrations. Um, now, of course, Acumatica has e-commerce integration, for example, like big commerce. So just know if a client is using the Acumatica integration, our integrations aren't required. Um, honestly, I, the Acumatica one's uh, nice because it is kind of front end and back end. And what I mean by that is, of course, it's going to monitor the e-commerce site, automatically bring in and create the sales orders. Um, and then, because of course, reverse translate that shipping information after it's been processed. So Starship's e-commerce integrations are more on the back end where, um, you know, they're still, if they're not using an integration, they would have to manually create those sales orders, you know, process sales orders or shipments through Starship. And then what Starship would do is we would update Acumatica with the shipping information. Um, and then we can even ping and update that big cardboard 
e-commerce order uh, at the same time. All right, so that, that's kind of how ours works. Again, more on the back end. But if they are using the uh, built-in um, Acumatica integrations, then ours not required because, of course, Starship is just, for example, like tracking information. We are going to update the actual Acumatica tracking fields, and then, of course, they'll just grab the data from there and reverse translate it up to uh, the e-commerce site. Uh, all right, and then these are, oops, let me go down here. Uh, these are just some screenshots of the packaging tab or area inside of Starship. So again, just kind of reviewing how we bring in that item package, especially now if we're doing LTL, a, a customer can get into item box palette detail. All right, so they can really build those palettes, uh, put items in boxes. Um, same thing, usually a small parcel, you know, if you do have clients that, yeah, I, I don't want my shipper to have to put items in boxes. Just know with Starship, that item to box detail is not a requirement. It's not going to yell at them and say, hey, you didn't put any items in a box. Um, so, you know, some clients do, some clients don't. Um, you know, and I get on the side where some clients don't because, hey, you know, we might have an order with 100 line items. Uh, with Starship, it is simple drag and drop. So, you know, maybe we don't want them to take the time to manually drag. Uh, but they can grab single items or multiple items. But, you know, again, maybe we don't want them to move all that around. Um, but again, the nice thing with doing that is, of course, with Starship, if you want to generate like a, um, a packing slip, you could actually show kind of, hey, these three items are in this one box. This one item is in this one box. You know, here, here's box one of two, two of two. Um, so they can really show the detail of the shipping. Um, same thing with the e-notification email that can be sent out. You know, they could actually show them, yep, here, you're getting these two packs, boxes. Here's the hyperlink tracking number. Here's everything in each of the boxes, okay? So, again, it, it's optional. Of course, with a lot of LTL, they, they you actually do the item box information for the bill waiting form, which, again, Starship will grab all this data, automatically populate it on that bill waiting form. And then here's that live rate shopping. So again, uh, this is just the bottom of the Starship screen. Um, of course, I'd be more than happy if you reach out, we'll do a live demo, show you the complete Starship uh, screen. But this is the bottom of the Starship program. And again, this is either from sales order entry or at time of shipment. But this is a, just an example of an LTL shipment where Starship's pinging uh, different carriers and you know, we have connections with 3PL uh, services, or if you have your own direct rates with carriers, again, Starship is just going to return all this additional information automatically, real, live time, uh, you know, say tomorrow, UPS ups a fuel surcharge, when you rate shop tomorrow, immediately gain access to those new rates. Okay. And then here is, again, those list prices, contract, applied charges in Starship terms, just so everyone knows. This is usually what we write back into Acumatic is what we want to charge the customer. And like in this case, as you see, there, there are differences. Um, so what Starship is doing, it just has some freight rules. So it's upping the rate for uh, what we want to charge the customer. Okay. Um, and again, I just mentioned about bill lading forms, but these are just an example of some of those documents Starship can generate. Uh, so straight bill lading forms, VIC versions, uh, international documents like commercial invoices, shipper's letter of instruction, uh, certificate of origins if needed. But as you see, Starship's automatically going to populate all the information. Uh, these examples, I actually, I customize so they're signed and dated. So the nice thing with that really now as a shipper, I don't have to stop and fill out anything. Uh, here's an example of a packing list. This is one that, you know, for example, hey, I'm doing a blind drop shipment for a tractor supply company. So Starship automatically knows to put this logo on there, put their information. Uh, here's an example. This is, I basically call these child packing slips where, hey, it's box two of two. This is what's in, in that one box. Now, of course, with Starship on the packet, I get asked this a lot. Um, you know, we could also do the master packing list where, yeah, you're getting two boxes. Here's everything. Okay. So again, just some examples of those documents um, now as i was talking earlier about the dashboard program which is a reporting matrix tool uh, this is just an example of one of the emails uh, templates that i created uh, that same thing customers can create and again they, they are going to be allowed to create unlimited templates on the templates they can even assign emailing rules so for example this one i just have these promo code or one promo code but they can hyperlink fields kick them back to a website but you know what maybe we only want to send this this one template with this 20 percent off promo code to certain customers so they can have those rules but with these templates very easy to design uh, they can bring in acumatica fields and here i have pl number the sales order number uh, even maybe when they want to let their customers know hey you're getting two packages the eta is being returned by the 
carrier. So that's accurate. And again, here's just an example where, yeah, if we are doing that item box detail inside Starship or inside Acumatica, let's show it to our customers. You know, let's show them what they ordered, what's been shipped. Here's their hyperlink tracking number. Uh, so again, those are just different options. Of course, this could just be box one, box two. All right. Um, so again, appreciate everyone attending. That was kind of a high level overview, but I am more than happy to uh, schedule a uh, call demonstrations with everyone uh, so we can go deeper into the woods. Uh, usually, you know, if you have a client that is interested in streamlining the shipping with Starship, uh, usually what we like to do is schedule a demo call. I even have a discovery document that I can send out uh, that really goes over all the questions I need to cover their different shipping scenarios. Um, usually then what we do is schedule a call, we go over that document, and then we can jump into that live demo. But like I said, we can jump deeper into the woods, answer uh, answer questions, uh, but please feel free to reach out to me. But again, appreciate everyone taking the time, but uh, take care everyone.